um, I was in excruciating pain, uh, but I could not figure out like what had happened to my thumb. So of course I was like, I have a rare blood disorder because why am I bruising? And I haven't hit my thumb or dropped anything on it. Hey guys. So today is April 20th. I was supposed to have some dental work done today. <laughs> so I took the whole day off work and then I went into the dentist and he was like, yeah, no, you're good. Come back in a month, we'll check again. That was great news, but also what's great is that I have the rest of the day off work. So um, I'm gonna head to my favorite place on the planet and that's Ikea, <laughs> because why not? Like I said, it's April 20th. You guys are probably not going to see this video until June, but I am going to be finishing my closet. I did the first part of my closet over a year ago, almost two years at this point. And um, I've just gotten to the point that every time I do laundry, I'm like dreading it because I don't have enough drawer space and I just want it to be done. <laughs> so I'm gonna be working on that from now until June. Let's get into what I'm gonna be doing. Okay guys, so this is the closet currently. Um, so now I'm just gonna show you kind of the issues that we're going to be rectifying. First, it's going to be all of the shoes that are on the floor. We're going to have shelving for them on the opposite side of the closet. Also, um, my sweaters are just like excessive. Um, this is not even a sweater drawer. This is supposed to be loungewear and they're just like taking over so much space. So um, I'm actually going to put those in the Billy bookcases. I will pop up an image of the look I'm going for with the shelving. Um, so once you see that image, you'll also understand that I will be moving all of the jeans into the shelving as well. So that will free up some room for the clothing that's over here. So I've actually already separated all of my short clothing from my long clothing, kind of, because I've been using the closet since I did that and I have not been keeping this side organized. <laughs> but um, all of the shorter clothing will be going into this section of the Ardall and then the long clothing will stay here and I'm gonna set you guys up so you can see what the plan is for this side of the closet. I'm thinking of getting three of the Slim Billy bookcases and putting them on either side of the wall and then one right next to the Ardall system that I already have. So today I'm just going to get the bookcases. What I eventually want is the Oxburg doors on the Billy bookcases so that you kind of get that like glass panel look on front and then I wanted to get like upgraded handles and all of that kind of stuff. So. Um, the project ultimately I think is going to cost me somewhere between $450 and $550. So I've been just putting it off until I had that amount of money. And I know oh, my hair looks crazy. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've just been kind of putting it off until I had that amount of money. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot of money to some people. Usually what I do and what gets me into trouble, and this might be something that you do too, um, is that when I don't have enough money to complete a project that I want to complete, I will take that money and spend it on smaller projects that I can actually finish instead of just saving the money to do what I want or buying a piece of the project that I ultimately want to complete. And I think this time I'm just gonna take the approach of I have $150 to go and get the three Billy bookcases I need. No, I don't have the money for the doors, for the handles, for a new rug or a new hamper or anything else with the closet, paint, anything like that. <laughs> but I have the money for the bookcases, so I'm gonna go get those today, even if the closet isn't complete. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go do it. So I got the bookcases home, I changed into my comfy clothes, and I got to work. 
As with the assembly of any IKEA furniture, um, mistakes were made, choice words were used, but we got it done. Um, next, I'm gonna show you how to fix at least one of the mistakes that I made. I don't know. I feel like I had to tilt it last time to get it in there. The wider one I just put together inside the closet. Maybe it was the width that was the problem because this looks like it'll slide right under. Let us pray. Yep. That'll go right under. Look at God. Well, won't he do it? Won't he will? Listen. Oh, you guys missed uh, where I put this in backwards. So I've already ordered um, wood banding on Amazon because I refuse to take this whole thing apart um, and put it back together again because I have two more of these to do tonight. <laughs> so a few months, years ago, this would have been like the end of the night. Like I would have been crying, screaming, throwing up. Like so mad, so just distraught and discouraged <laughs> by this by these two shelves and just like the more you keep doing this stuff the easier it gets and also the more solutions you know to the problem so that you don't feel like you have to completely disassemble something you've already worked on for 30 minutes and then put it back together and then go on to the next thing um so yeah just you know Keep on your Ikea journey. I know their instructions aren't clear. I know it's completely frustrating. I know everyone hates it. It's not as easy as it looks. I know all the things. Um, but I can promise you that with practice, it does get better. It does get better. Or you figure out how to fix it in a much easier way. So let's, let's, let's rock with that. Um, but don't give up because Ikea has such great stuff at such an affordable price point that like you don't want to miss out on that because it's discouraging right now that's all i'm saying all right that's my rant for today is that a rant or a soapbox let me get off my soapbox that's what i'll do all right y'all i hope this bookcase fits in here Okay, let me bring you guys in for the finale because this is it for tonight. We'll put these little shelves on here. I'm going to have to take this out tomorrow because I need to get, I should be able to get back there to get the, um, get the screws out to get this rack off the wall. But I just wanted to see it in here. Okay. Nice. Okay, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's day two. I am back in the closet. So yesterday when I started trying to like push the dowels into the shelves, um, I was in excruciating pain, uh, but I could not figure out like what had happened to my thumb. So of course I was like, I have a rare blood disorder because why am I bruising? And I haven't hit my thumb or dropped anything on it. No WebMD required for that. Figured that out all on my own. Um, but yeah, then as I was like calling my dad to show him, I was like, oh yeah, I absolutely slammed this in the door the last time I was trying to call you because I was rushing into the house. So yeah, that's what happened to my thumb. It's just a little bit bruised. Um, it looks a lot better than yesterday, but, and it feels a lot better than yesterday. And I obviously knew it wasn't broken because I was able to bend it and everything. So anyway, I am, once again fighting against the sun <laughs> because i have to do everything after work so i'm gonna get started what i'm gonna do today is take down the rack patch up the wall while the what is that stuff called why am i drawing a blank whatever that putty stuff that you put in holes while that's drying i will put together the two remaining billy bookcases and then get them into the closet so that's all my rambling for today. Let me get started before I run out of sunlight. Okay, bye. I'm just noticing that this is all so much less intimidating than it was last time. 
Um, just doesn't seem as daunting. And I think it's A, because I've done that side and also because I've done like a ton of projects in between. Um, like I think that probably was like my third or fourth time using a drill. Like, and I put this whole closet together. This is crazy. Anyway, I'm just very sentimental in this video. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know if any of this stuff will make the cut, but. If like any of this stuff is confusing you or you're like, what is she even doing? Um, check out my first video when I did the first side of the closet. If you haven't seen it already, if you're here because this is like the much anticipated completion of this project, then you already know pretty much how I did everything but I realized that I'm just like going through a lot of steps and not talking and not showing you and that's because everything is already in the first video so I'll put that up here for you to go check out if this is your first time <laughs> seeing me work on my closet. Hey guys so it is April 23rd <laughs> I'm back in the closet wood banding so that I can fix my error from the first day. I'm just, I just didn't have any luck with <laughs> these Billy Book cases um, this time around, but any luck putting them together. They're fine now that <laughs> they're assembled, but we went through some things. So um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to fix the two shelves that I inserted backwards. Okay, so this is the perfect color um, and it's actually, um, it adheres by heat so I have my iron in here um, plugged up by a series of extension cords <laughs> because there's no outlet in here it would be nice to have an outlet in the closet um, but I don't so let me just zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing so I've actually already unrolled it um, it came kind of stuck together with this um, piece of tape so I just unrolled as much as I needed I like held it up to the bookshelf and then I just put the tape back around so that it doesn't unravel while I'm working with it um, but I'm just going to cut it after I have it mostly on here just so I don't cut it too short um, but I pretty much measured out how much I need but yeah as you can see like the color is perfect <laughs> So I'm really glad I didn't like panic that first day. And also like, so I got the three quarter inch um, width, which is the perfect width is the width of the shelf. Um, but even if it's a little bit off, which it isn't, even if it was like, I am going to have a door on here. So it doesn't need to be perfect. the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I have found my magic configuration. <laughs> um, so I am going to do a hanging rod across here and a hanging rod across here, um, which will give me tons of space for my longer clothes. That's about 40 inches because it's about 20 inches on either side. That also gives me plenty of floor space because I don't know if you saw yesterday, but my hamper was not in the closet and I had it by the laundry room in the hall, hated it. Um, so this is much better. Also, I think the doors will just look really pretty side by side together like this. Um, so this is going to be the configuration of the closet. Super excited about it. Love the way it looks so far and yeah. Now, I know I've said this 110 times probably by this point in the video, but I am going to paint the walls. <laughs> All right, so let me get that done now. So next, I started assembling the hanging rod. First step was to put the brackets into the wall and the bookshelf. I don't have any studs on this side of the wall, so I used anchors for this side, and then I'll walk you through step-by-step step how I put the other bracket into the bookshelf. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure the screws are not too long. So these screws are just like right at the edge of going through the bookshelf. But I don't think they will because this is just like a quarter inch thick. So that's gonna cut down on how much of the screw is actually going to go through the bookshelf. Luckily I have a spare bookshelf. So <laughs> let's see, um, let's just, just see everybody pray for me um I'm not gonna drill it to I'm literally just like making enough to so that the nail has something to thread on to so because this is lacquer um, sometimes it's a little difficult for the nails to like grip okay that's it <laughs> Obviously don't want to split the bookshelf, so I'm just doing it enough to get it going. Okay, so that was able to go all the way in without coming through the other side. <laughs> so I think we are in business, people. I think we're in business. Um... Before I screw it in, I'm just going to make sure this is level. Okay. So I'm not sure why this has this thing on it. I don't know what the purpose of this is. I don't really know what the purpose of this is. I'm sure it matters. Um, I will figure that out later. I just want to get a sense of if this is level. So I can always put this back on. But what I feel for you, no greater love. Okay. You too. I shook my head. Strong. And pauses. Pauses. Book. Yo. Okay. So it's level. It's secure it's anchored into the wall oh I get it okay so this thing also has like that's what the little screw is for so I can screw this into the wall I'm assuming and then it'll be super secure yep I believe let me, let me look at the instructions <laughs> Yes, so when I went to Lowe's, they only had two of these. One was fine. The other one, which is this one, was open. So it was missing these screws. And so this um, plastic piece that I was like, what is that about? What is that for? Um, that is so you can mount it directly into the wall. Um, but you can also do it like I did with brackets, which I wanted to do because it allows it to support more weight um, because I have a lot of clothes. So I am still, I think, going to screw this into the wall though because it's a little, it's a little loose for my liking. Now I need to secure bookshelf to the wall <laughs> so that um, it doesn't go toppling forward when I hang my clothes on it. Okay guys, I am back in the closet. It's April 26th. Um, I started this project exactly a week ago um, and so I'm really excited to be finished this part of it today. The brackets came in from Amazon so that I can secure these bookshelves to the wall. These are already secured. They, I was able to do those with the ones from Ikea but I needed a little bit of a longer one for this side because these bars have to be installed at least 12 inches from the wall. My battery's gonna die. Hold on, guys. So my battery died and I wasn't able to show you guys the installation, but these are the brackets. I got them from Amazon and I'll link them below. Um, they're actually pretty sturdy and very significant brackets. Um, they're actually made to hold shelves. So I got these because I needed to move the bookcases a little further from the wall than the Ikea brackets would allow me to secure. So I just got a longer L bracket. I am obsessed. I, I love this door. Uh, excuse my hair, I just took my buns out. <laughs> 
but I love this door. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> Promise I won't try, but the milk.